Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. So I want to talk about slop in your tables, uh, specifically in your lead screws and where it can happen. All right, so my first table was cheap, Chinese, you know, sort of crap that you spend like 150 bucks for. And um, that brings me to the first thing. So this is a Craftsman XY rotary table. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, and they did lead screws and whatnot in a much better way than the Chinese ever think about doing. But it costs money and it makes parts and it's more complex. All right. So what you're looking at here is there is the lead screw. Here's your handle. And this right here is a brass nut. It's threaded with lead screw threads. And as you can see, it's got a set screw in it. Uh, right behind it is uh, two hardened washers with a thrust bearing between them in a cage and up underneath this increment ring here which um, if I loosen this off you can see it turns um, but it's got enough tension on it to uh, follow the knob around um, anyway up underneath there is another set of thrust bearing is another thrust bearing so what happens here is uh, the the cast iron is machined both sides so if they're nice and parallel so what happens is this uh, nut right here, this retaining nut, squeezes all this stuff together onto the casting. So uh, once it is properly tight and yet it's not binding up the bearings, come on camera, focus. There we go. Um, as you can see, well, let me see if I can hold the camera still. Let's do this. Get it nice and tight. There we go. Now I'm pulling and pushing on the handle, and you see no movement in there. It's because all this stuff is under a smidge of tension. So once I have that just right, I hit that set screw, lock it down. It's just going to bind into the ends of the threads, but there's nothing up there except for the brass retaining nut. No real harm done. Keeps all this stuff nice and tight for a very long time, years. All right, so this is a good way to do all this stuff. The Chinesium way, the shitty way, is none of this stuff on that side of the cast iron even exists. Um, instead, you have a thing that looks like this increment ring, you know, it, with that uh, with that screw on there loose. It spins right on around, no problem. Um, but on the Chinesium ones, that's not the case. And this is actually two pieces. So you have a, a steel piece right here that bolts into the casting, so this side of the casting might be machined. Um, that ring is flat-ish, and it's got two screws going into the casting. All right, then there's another piece here that's actually got all these increments on it, uh, and that part will have a set screw in it. And that set screw goes into the lead screw as it's right here next to the handle. So, you know, that one continuous rod that's right there. It is got a set screw in it, and that is your retaining ring. You know, it's got increment marks on it to make it look kind of like the real way. So anyway... <clears throat> This piece right here is bolted to that piece, so the casting, and it just provides a pseudo semi, not quite horrendously bad surface for the retaining ring to ride up against. This end of you know the the shaft or the uh, lead screw going into the back side of that thing, it's got a little shoulder on it, so it presses against the back side of this ring uh, to you know kind of make a good ish fit on there. And then the other side, this is a retaining ring with a set screw in it. And then you basically pull the lead screw into the back side of this and then tighten the retaining ring that way as much as you can. And that's basically as good as it gets. But it sucks. It sucks balls badly. And there's always a little bit of movement in the thing. Because, well, it's just the nature of this shitty design. All right. Uh, the other aspect of it is, as you can see, this turns. <laughs> I mean, it turns separate of the handle. So with that design, once you set that set screw, that increment ring, it just follows like that. You know, it's just like, you know, we turn that, lock it down. It's just like this all the time. You can't change it. You can't adjust it. And, and this increment ring, you use that on a table like all the time. I sure do. Uh, those little increments on there. Yeah, let's see, come on, camera, focus. Focus, there we go. So you can see those little tiny increments on there. Each one of those increments corresponds to a specific amount of linear movement that away. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if you can't adjust this, 
So let's just say, um, yeah, let's just say there's a mark on here. There's on the other side of the table, and I needed to go exactly, you know, five thousandths. So that would be from like right there to right there. Um, well, all I can do is like put a dot on that increment ring, and then turn it. Whereas like mine, you know, you just see the zero mark right there. Uh, you know, let's say that uh, I want that to be zero. And then, you know, I want to turn 15 thousandths from there or whatever. Yeah, you can't do that with the Chinese style because that increment ring is fixed. It's, you know, the retainer that holds all this nonsense together. So that's the first thing I want to talk about is good ways that the uh, lead screw is mounted to the casting and shitty ways. This is the good way, Chinese way with that fixed piece here and then the retaining ring with the lock screw in it. <laughs> it's a shitty way. Bad design, works really poorly. Okay, it works barely. Yeah, if you buy a $150 table, expect a Chinese shitty way. If you spend $400 for a table, well, there's a pretty good chance you'll get the good way. All right, so next thing I wanna show you is lead screw slop. In other words, the threads don't made up. All right, so here we go, here is my handle. You'll notice I've got like eight, nine degrees worth of rotation. I'm just barely grasping the knob, just with very light fingertip pressure, and the knob spins freely. And what's happening is the threads on the lead screw and the threads inside here don't make a perfect matchup. Um, and good luck, they don't exist. You won't find perfect ones. All you can do is put uh, a backlash nut on here, so you put tension between the two threads so that uh, you don't have this movement right there. So anyway, let's zoom in on the way. There we go, came into focus. So I will, in the background, you can see the lead screw, and right here, you can see the way. So you can see the lead screw moving, and the way is not moving. So now I'm actually gonna grasp the knob and turn the screw. There we go, now you can see the way moving. It's because I've locked up the thread. But as soon as I turn back the other way a little bit, there we go, there's that play, and you can see the way is not moving. But now it's locked up the other direction, and now the way is moving again. Now I can go back the other way, because right now it's locked in that direction. Turn it back, there's that slop in there, and the way is not moving. All right, so that's this axis on here. Uh, this axis, same thing, same good design, thrust bearings, retaining brass ring, or net rather, so on and so forth, pushing on it, there's no movement in there. Okay, this this one, the lead screw and that uh, set of threads in the way have almost no slop in them. This is pretty good. So there it is. You know, what is that? Two, three degrees worth of movement? There's still some in there, but it's not real bad. It's a lot better. So with this table, um, I'm watching which axis I'm moving because, you know, one I'll have more slop in it than I will the other. I'm going to fix this. So uh, I can't really fit the uh, backlash nuts on here because there's just not a way to do it. But I can do it with brass screws, which I will do, and they will create tension in the threads instead. And brass will wear against the hardened uh, threads. So the brass will wear and these will be unharmed. And, you know, as, as things uh, wear again, a little backlash happens in there, I can just tighten the screws and get a little bit more... Uh, uh, tighten this out a little bit more tension in the threads. Okay, so uh, this is purely proportional, exaggerated. Uh, in this axis right here, which has got the tighter threads in it, I would see, you know, with his tail flipped over, a little bit of movement like that, say. And of course, that's exaggerated. In this axis, which has got a lot more play in it, I'll see more movement like that, you know, about three or four times more. And of course, you know, I'm exaggerating. My my hand gestures are way too big. It's it's really like this, click, 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 and then boom, 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 much less movement, just because there's less slop in the uh, screws. All right, so last thing about play or slop I want to talk about. So this is the rotary table. Turn this handle. You can see the whole thing turn. All right, there is slop in here too. You can see it right there. So this slop is in the worm gear that's inside here and the main gear that's in the table. Uh, and, and it's the exact same thing. It's just, you know, the, uh, the the worm gear binds up with the main gear teeth. And so that's right there. And now I've got that movement. And then I pull, turn it back this way. Now they've bound up in the other direction. 
So that's the slop that's in there. With this um, worm gear, there is a screw, not that, that's my indicator mark. There is a screw inside here that will pull the worm gear towards the main gear. But if I tighten it up anymore, this all binds up. This is pretty smooth. If I tighten it up anymore, it binds up and it gets really stiff. So anyway, this is about as good as that's gonna get. Uh, and again, same thing in here. There is a thrust bearing inside here and then inside right here, there is another thrust bearing with another one of those. So that uh, this all here can be all snucked up and you know, be nice and tight, you know, like how these are. Focus. It's the exact same assembly as this is. Focus. Yeah. Focus. It's the exact same assembly as this is. Works exactly like this. Um, but instead it is, oops, move my camera. Instead it's all right in here. You know, with a retaining net inside that pulls those thrust bearings together to take out any play between here and the inside. So I don't get the movement here. This is all in the worm gear and the main gear. So anyway, that is slop in your table. You know, it's either in the lead screws, it's in the gears, or it's in here. One of those places where you're gonna find this right here. It's gonna be in one of those places. It's gonna be here, whoops, here, or on the lead screw or in this case, in the gear teeth meshing. All right, well, this is YouTube, or D. Baudry saying, hey YouTube, take care, keep away from that damn virus, stay well, and uh, take care.